This is the Yuan Fun New Media Art Gallery, and um, Yuan Fun is this whole idea of destiny. And so the exhibit here today is the uh, the second uh, exhibit that we've had, and uh, it really comes about by means of destiny, sort of like uh, what artists happen to cross paths uh, with this particular space and with me. Um, and so after our first show, we had a really incredible first show with a, a New York artist named Joe Deebs uh, and a Hong Kong artist named Hung Chang. Uh, and so the question was like, you know, what's the next show going to be? And uh, these artists uh, who are represented here today uh, had seen that first show and were intrigued with the place and with the whole concept, the whole idea that this gallery represents of being a showcase for new media art. Um, and so the first artist that came to me in the show is a guy named Yum Lao. And Yum Lao is a, uh, a Hong Kong Chinese who's been living in Canada uh, for a long time. And uh, he does extraordinary pieces of uh, three-dimensional video. Um, and although he's been in the West a very long time, you can see in his pieces a very, very strong uh, Chinese influences. He comes from a, a background of painting um, and of Asian painting and although he uses high-tech in terms of rendering these extraordinary three-dimensional uh, experiences, uh, they are still very Asian in their, in their feeling. Uh, and so it's a, I'm very, very proud to be able to show those pieces. Uh, the other artist that we have, a representation of his is Ma Yunfeng. Uh, one of the pieces is behind me. Uh, which is a photograph and uh, he first showed me this photograph and it was on an iPod so very very small and I looked at it for a long time and I said uh, what uh, these are these are like little pieces of crumpled gold and he said keep looking at them so I kept looking at it and I said no 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 they're pieces of uh, they're pieces of jewels and he said keep looking and then I, f I looked and looked and looked and I said they're plastic bags and he said exactly so I was so intrigued with, uh, with this particular piece. Um, and then we have another piece of his, which is a moving video piece of uh, Chinese chess pieces sort of floating in midair. Um, and so his work and Yam Lao's work uh, are very, very interesting to me in that they bring us to this, uh, this place between reality and dream. Uh, this place between uh, this world and some world we can only imagine. Um, and then the final artist that I have here is a guy named Michael Yuan. And Michael is of Chinese extraction, but he's a pure Westerner, if you will. He's from Australia um, and brings a very strong kind of Australian sensibility, if you will. He's very laid back, uh, but also a real perfectionist in his work. And so uh, the work that Michael, of uh, Michael's that we have here is something called Pulse. And Pulse is a light and sound installation. And uh, this is a very interesting piece to me because this is an unusual space. This is not your typical gallery space. It's not, you know, white, clean walls. It's a very quirky kind of space. And so uh, one of the interesting elements here is a swimming pool that I built, an elevated swimming pool. And uh, when Michael came to visit, he looked at this swimming pool and he looked underneath the swimming pool and he said, you know, I'd really like to do a piece here. And I said, that's terrific. I've always wanted someone to really, you know, be able to interact with the space. So the, the uh, installation that Michael built underneath the swimming pool is this thing called Pulse. And it's a, uh, an LED blue light, which pulses at a particular rate, pulsates at a rate, and uh, there's also this sound that accompanies it. And um, the, it is this feeling of, uh, of kind of being in a womb. Uh, it's that feeling I can remember when my wife was pregnant uh, with, with our babies. Uh, who are now 18 and 16 years old. And I remember uh, going to the doctor with my wife when she was pregnant and he would, you know, put, uh, besides showing us pictures uh, through a, uh, you know, sonogram, we'd also be able to listen to the heartbeat. And that sound of a, uh, of a fetal heartbeat 
is you know, one of these really extraordinary sounds. And then when you hear that, you also think, well, what is the fetus hearing? And the fetus is hearing this heartbeat of the mother. Um, and so that's the kind of feeling that you get with pulse. Because you're inside and you see these, this flash of blue light and this pulsating sound. Um, and being underneath this swimming pool that has 40 metric tons of water in it. So you feel very enclosed. Um, and yet in a, a, it gives you a very, very peaceful feeling and something that I always imagine that this is how a fetus feels being in the womb and hearing uh, the mother's heartbeat and probably even seeing uh, you know, light flashing through. So these three pieces, or these three artists, uh, there's a total of five different, uh, six different pieces here. Uh, but they bring together a very interesting uh, uh, phenomenon, I think, in terms of what new media art is. And that is it uh, you know, takes us, the viewers, to another place. Uh, you know, we see it, we can feel it, it's all very real. And yet, as we look at it, it makes us question uh, sort of our own reality. Um, and we all have this, you know, growing experience with computers and with technology. Um, but when we see people who can create art with these things, uh, it's really a, a very exciting experience. So this has been a, a terrific experience for me, bringing these three artists together, having their pieces, uh, you know, have this interesting dialogue in a single space. Um, and it's been really interesting. This is the opening uh, today, and so having people react and seeing what people's uh, responses are to these pieces has been uh, a, a, very, uh, a very pleasurable moment for me.